Hello everyone, I am Veos, and welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program 2 video. Well, when Kerbal Space Program 2 came out, it was definitely very, very extremely early access. All the bugs that they said they were going to work on before it was released to the public seemed to be still there. Now, before you think I'm going to be ranting in this video, think again. I'm a huge fan of Kerbal Space Program. I love space, I love science, I love technology, I'm a big sci-fi nerd, so I'm, I don't really have anything negative to say about this game. I just think it's hilarious that the poor dev team is running into so many program problems. Because let's face it, Kerbal Space Program isn't some Witcher or Mass Effect or even an EVE Online creation. As much as it is a, a physics, physics simulator. simulator. It's easy to make a game. Well, I say, I say easy, but it's, it's not. It's not easy to make anything, right? <laughs> it's easy to make a game, or should I say more easier to make a game look pretty than it is to create a game with perfect physics. A lot of calculations are going through your GPU, and at any given point, one of those calculations might hiccup. And when that happens, a cascade of Kraken-like events will occur. And sometimes, apart from restarting the whole game, you may be able to fix it. Sometimes. That being said, I recently found out that the Munarch, or Moonarch, is in Kerbal Space Program 2. Matt went ahead and flew over there, albeit having a horrible time with the Kraken, constantly eating away at his craft. But by George, he wasn't gonna let that stop him. And interestingly enough, I have to say I kind of predicted the planet alignment on the moon gate. And I'm not talking about the uh, alignment of the planets per se. I'm, I'm talking about how they were colorized and how the moons were depicted. Like it almost looks identical. I mean, look at that. It almost looks freaking identical. And that video that I went to go to the moon in KSP-1 to look at the moon arch was months, months and months ago. So cool, cool, awesome. I like the fact that me and the devs are, or at least the art team are on the same wavelength in a sense. Maybe. I don't know. But you can do some crazy things right now with the early access. Somebody landed on Jewel and walked around on the surface. Makes me wonder if you could build a base on Jewel. Gotta try that sometimes. Sometime. I definitely want to build a base somewhere. I mean, some of the parts that look like buildings or space station parts or whatever, regardless, look beautiful. And I really just want to build a base somewhere. I, I gotta build a base. I don't care where it is. Except oh, as long as it's not on Kerbin. Gotta build a base somewhere. Gotta build a base. Base. Yeah, so when we uh, start started streaming, I think it was Friday morning, as soon as the game came out, my biggest thing was to build an SSTO. There are a lot of different aspects to the game that don't mimic KSP-1, and obviously it's a new brand, pretty much brand new, built from the bottom up game. The atmosphere is a little thicker, the drag on the parts a little higher, some of the engines suck up way more fuel than others. In comparison to KSP-1, rapier engines are a little on the weak side. I just ended up inevitably building a rocket SSTO, which worked fine. And we managed to land it in one piece, even though it ended up being really, really nose heavy. I would use the space shuttle engine to pull the nose up before landing on Kerbin's surface, which worked. And then we planted a flag on the SSTO. It didn't stay there, but that was weird. Yeah, so a lot of goals right now. We have to find out what parts are super buggy and what parts we can use that won't create a huge Kraken event. We have to figure out how many parts a craft can be before it starts to bug out. Like for instance, one of my SS2 TO designs. I believe it's the Starbird or something like that. Starboy? Starbird? Something like that. Yeah. The one that can carry 36 ton simple orange tank to orbit. Kind of a small payload. Does not work in Kerbal Space Program 2. It literally melts on the runway. And before you start comparing KSP2 to KSP1, just remember that these crafts that I'm building work flawlessly and perfectly in KSP-1, okay? All right, now let's revert back to KSP-2. As soon as you put these crafts on the runway, they disintegrate, they melt. There's a lot of physics going on, and unfortunately, like I said before, you get one little hiccup and the whole thing goes like a domino effect and completely falls apart. Right now, physics engine in this game needs a lot of work. So once you start getting heavier stuff with more parts, that allows for more calculation errors, which allows for the crap. Like, I have no idea what these colored dots are, but my craft exploded. It was already gone. The parts were gone, but for some reason, its ghost, I could, I guess you could say, kept going and burning fuel and gaining altitude and, and, and stuff. And the parts would magically appear again and then crash again and appear again and crash again. It was very weird, but entertaining. <laughs> All the same. So when I went to the moon for the first time, I went for a very solar nations approach. No landing legs.
things, keep the rocket simple, and it worked pretty well. Went to the moon, landed, no hitch, got out, walked around, came back. Now mind you, when Matt went to the moon and he started walking around, he got further and further away from the craft, and for some reason the craft would jump to his Kerbal, killing him. And I've seen this kind of problem before when I've made an SSTO using rapiers. I had to double up on the rapiers in order to get enough thrust to get out. But when I made an SSTO with the rapiers and gave it a fuel tank, small little fuel tank for a cargo, I tried to undock the cargo from the cargo bay and this stupid little message popped up. Pretty much, oh no, your ship has been destroyed. Better luck next time. I'm like, what? What? Why is that even there? Why, why is that? Why is this even here? Now, I could understand if your command pod was destroyed. I could understand that. I could understand if your cockpit was smashed, if your probe core was smashed and there was no way to control the craft whatsoever, then yeah, you could pop that up. That would be like the sign that pops up in KSP-1 when you can no longer control your craft because everything's been destroyed that could possibly control your craft. That makes sense. Do you want to return back to the tracking station or do you want to close? I, I wish there was a button to close it so you could keep on playing even if there was no control whatsoever. Sometimes, hey, garbage in space looks pretty. Only for a little while, then you get bored and move on. Yeah, okay. Or, or maybe you want that to stay in orbit so you can make a mission to go capture it. I don't know. But to put up a sign that says you're done get the f out is a, li a little a little too hasty i think there should at least be an option to say continue playing or you can get rid of the window at least a little bit of construction construction what constructive criticism there of a feature that can change and can be better and then because it's constructive criticism you add what could be done to make it better see that's how constructive criticism works you criticize one thing but then you add constructive or options to make it better this is all in love by the way so if there's a dev watching love you very much and thank you for ksb2 thank you for your hard work i know there's a lot of people saying oh it sucks but just want you to let you know that for most ksp1 players we're internally grateful and we can only imagine how beautiful it's going to be in the future all right moving on so i built the moon lander and this was before i thought about going to the moon arch but it worked pretty good we're pre 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 pretty good worked pretty good yes it did i liked it very shiny but yeah that's pretty much all i have right now for this video so i plan on building a space station i plan on trying to get a moon base started i plan on finding what parts are buggy and what parts to stay well away from. Try to find out exactly what I need to do in order to make the game playable for right now until they do a whole lot of fixes. But it's fun. Is it worth 50 bucks? For me, I would say yes, because it's only going to get better from here. And if it gets way, way, way better, then the price is definitely probably going to start going up. So if you're not too thrilled about the game the way it is right now, my advice would be to buy it at its low price, keep it in your Steam library, and when people start saying, well, this update just came out, this update just came out this update just came out and it starts looking playable to what you like then you can go ahead and since you've already got it in your steam library for a nice low price you can install it and start playing it because i guarantee you that price is only going to go up that's my 10 cents anyway all right everyone i got a lot of work to do this weekend and we're looking at about 64 hours of overtime next week we're going back to 10 hour days so i'll be working 10 hour days from monday through thursday that'll be my 40 and then friday will be eight hours overtime saturday eight hours over time sunday eight hours over time and then rinse and repeat i'm trying my best to make it right now things are very 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 expensive over here at the u.s not gonna say why or anything just yikes trying to keep afloat so that is going to cut into my video time i will be making videos of ksp1 as well as ksp2 so don't worry about that stuff like career mode and whatnot a little bit of a juggle right now but anyway love you all very much thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel if you liked what you saw please hit the like button it really helps out with the youtube YouTube, what YouTube? What the fuck? YouTube algorithm. And if you really, really, really liked what you saw, consider subscribing. We upload often, mostly KSP one stuff, but you know it's starting to really get KSP two stuff coming in now. We also have a membership if you're interested. Get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. I need to update that sucker though. But anyway, love you all. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye bye.